the ninth day of Pesach? Rabbi Yecheskel Landau, also known as the Noiz Yehuda, was the Rav of Prague. One day, on his way to shul, he hurried through a narrow alleyway. Suddenly, he heard the sound of someone crying. Rabbi Yecheskel turned and saw a non-Jewish boy sobbing loudly. What's wrong? asked the Rav kindly. Why are you crying? The boy looked up surprised that someone noticed him. My father is a baker, he explained between sobs, and he sent me to sell bread in the marketplace. I worked hard, selling the bread, but when I reached into my pocket, I realized that all my money was gone. I know that my father is going to punish me, so I'm afraid to go home. How much money did you lose? asked the Rav. I lost 50 coins, answered the boy in a shaky voice. Don't be afraid, said Rabbi Cheskel. I will help you. The Rav opened his wallet and handed the boy the full amount of money that he had lost. A big smile broke on the child's face as he gladly took the money. He thanked the Rav for his kindness and headed home. Many years passed. Late one night, just a few days before Pesach, there was a loud knock at Rabbi Cheskel's door. Who could be coming to my house at this time? wondered the Rav. He opened the door and found a non-Jewish man standing there. I need to speak with you privately, whispered the man. May I come inside? Rabbi Cheskel invited the man into his home and asked him to sit down. Rabbi, you're in danger, the man said in a hushed voice. The non-Jewish bakers of this town are planning to kill all the Jews of Prague. The Rav was shocked. Please, tell me everything you know, he said to his visitor. Every year, said the man, the Jews of Prague buy bread from non-Jewish bakers as soon as Pesach is over. The bakers had a meeting today. Together, they decided to poison all of the bread. In this way, they hope to kill all the Jews of the city. Of course, it's all a big secret, so that the police will not find out and punish them. Oh, what terrible news, exclaimed the Rav. How kind of you to come and warn me. Tell me, who are you? What made you decide to save us? The man explained. Do you remember that many years ago, there was a little boy who lost his money and was afraid to go home to his father? You gave him money and saved him from a terrible punishment. The Rav nodded. He was beginning to understand. Well, that boy was me, continued the man. I heard about this terrible plan because my father is a baker. I decided that the time had come to pay you back for your kindness. But please be careful, said the man. No one is allowed to find out that you were warned because then they might suspect that I was the one who warned you. Rabbi Cheskel assured the man that he would be careful. After thinking long and hard, Rabbi Cheskel finally came up with a plan that would save the Jews from the evil bakers without having to tell them that, that he had been warned. On the eighth night of Pesach, Rabbi Cheskel sent out a message saying, All the shuls of Prague will be closed tomorrow. Only the main shul will remain open. Everyone is expected to go there to Daven and hear the Rav speak. The people were curious. The Rav must have something very important to tell us, they said to one another. The next day, on the last day of Pesach, the people all packed into the main shul. Rabbi Cheskel Landau got up to speak. I have gathered you here to tell you that a terrible mistake has been made in our calendars, began the Rav. Rosh Chodesh Nisan was really supposed to be one day later. This means that we began celebrating Pesach a day early. Now we must keep Pesach for one extra day. The people were shocked. Such a thing had never happened before. But they did not question their Rav, and the Jews of Prague kept Pesach for an extra day that year. Of course, the Rav was allowed to say something untrue in order to save their lives. In the meantime, the non-Jewish bakers did not know that the Jews would be keeping an extra day of Pesach. That night, they set up their poison bread in their bakery shops. Then they waited and waited for the Jews to arrive. But no one came. Not even one Jew entered the bakeries that night. The bakers were furious that their plan was ruined. One of the bakers finally went outside and saw a Jew passing by. Hey, why don't you buy bread from us tonight, he shouted. The Jew explained, our rabbi told us that we needed to keep an extra day of Pesach this year, explained the Jew. The bakers were angry at Rabbi Cheskel. They wanted the police to arrest him. Since they couldn't tell the police about their evil plans, they complained and said that Rabbi Cheskel caused them to lose a lot of money. The policeman went to the rabbi's house and asked him, why did you tell the Jews not to buy bread tonight? Rabbi Cheskel remained calm. Let's go see what type of bread the bakers were trying to sell us, he said. The Rav led the police to the bakery. He took a piece of bread and gave it to a hungry dog. The dog ate the bread, fell to the ground, and died. The police sent the bakers to jail for poisoning the bread. The Jews of Prague were grateful to Hashem for giving them a Rav whose kindness and wisdom had saved their lives. When someone does a favor, he will always get repaid. Sometimes, Hashem waits many years to reward him because he is saving the reward for a time when the person will need it most.